The following program is brought to you by Design Productions. The podcast no one listens to with Kevin Porter. Nice. Nice. Oh, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to an all-new episode of the podcast that no one listens to. I'm your host, Kevin Porter, and we're back for another week that was my life, your life, everybody's life. We're back, we're back, we're back, and I'm sober as fuck as I record this. Dude, I think this is like the first time I've recorded an opening sober uh, definitely in a very long time. I don't even remember the last time I was sober on this podcast. Dude, It's like I always smoke a little bit of weed before I get on this shit. Dude. As, as you can see, I'm in a new environment, dude. I'm not in my studio, dude. My studio is down and out for the time. And honestly, dude, I don't even know if I'm going to go back to it <laughs> until the summer heat wave is over, dude. It's like, it gets so fucking hot in there, dude. It gets so fucking hot in there, dude. And like, I'm going to eventually get an air conditioner. Eventually. 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 Oh. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know, dude. For now, I mean, I think this is, uh, this is it. This is where we're going to be posting up. Uh, for the foreseeable future here for the podcast and shit. So, um, unfortunately, I can't have people here, dude. It's just it's a top secret location, dude. You can't I can't have people here, dude. But I can um, we can do Zoom calls. So that's uh, that's what's what we're doing. It's what we're doing, motherfuckers. So I don't know, man. What's up with you guys, dude? I've had a pretty good week, dude. I know last last week I was a little melodramatic and shit, dude, about my life and stuff, and just like how angry I was. And like to tell you the truth, I was I was getting pretty fucking angry trying to connect to Zoom on this shit, dude. It's like technology is just dev- definitely has not been my friend lately so uh i just uh i've been fucking chilling dude trying to calm down like i said dude uh i went and bought some edibles today so i'm going to eat some edibles here shortly um pretty stoked on that dude i got peach and like a strawberry lemonade or something so i've got some vacation coming up so instead of like bringing actual flour and like you know having to worry about that and like smoke and whatnot. I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to pop some edibles, dude. We're just going to play safe this weekend, dude. I'm going to get a six pack of beer, maybe a 12 pack. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I'll just buy a fucking case, dude. Get a case of like some fucking rolling rock, dude. Ah, nah. I'm good, man. I'm good. I don't need that. <clears throat> but it's going to be a good week. Got, like I said, dude, got some vacation time coming up. Finally can like sit back and just fucking relax. Dude. I just feel like I've been fucking on edge the last four months been looking forward to this vacation dude for quite some time dude i feel like it's just it's just needed dude i've just i've been burnt out forever dude so it's like i've got this set up now to where like i literally don't have to do shit next week for the podcast everything's all pre-done so it's like <clears throat> after uh tomorrow well yesterday if you're watching this live yesterday i know dude it's like people are like oh hit me up like oh shit dude you're doing the podcast live on facebook what it's like dude it's not live it's not live. It's pre-recorded, bitch. It's like TV, dude. I'm pre-recording. I could do this shit live, dude, but like, I, I don't like live. I'm just not a big fan. I don't know. I don't know. It's not like we can even go do anything live. It's like, I don't know. We were kind of considering doing some like live shows this year, but like, you know, it's, it's been kind of fucked up. We're kind of fucked over on that sense, dude. So um, it's just, it's unfortunate, but you know, we're going to make do and you know, we got Zoom. So Zoom, 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 Zoom to you, you, you and your friends. Hey. So I don't know, man. Uh, dude, I haven't really been up to much this week, dude. I had like, I sat down and like drank like three fucking beers yesterday and like fucking chilled out and watched Blade Runner. That was probably like the most relaxing thing that I've done like in in the last like week dude like i've just been fucking on it dude i'm just trying to fucking stay motivated trying to keep this fucking covid depression blues bullshit away dude it's like again like one day you're good the next day you're just like ah it's like today was kind of like one of those days where it's just i don't know man it just seems like it just it just seems like it's one thing after another in this state if not this country obviously and i'm just like i don't know man i'm trying to keep it cool you know i don't want to like really go into bullshit on this like you know i don't want to talk politics on this podcast dude i just want to keep it like chill dude you know i don't want i want this to be like somewhat of an escape for myself <laughs> along also with all the listeners at home you know and all you good uh, viewers at home dude it's like dude we this is a place where we can get together we can hang out we can have a beer and we can just fucking talk and just bullshit dude like we want to talk about video games let's talk about video games let's talk about movies let's talk about whatever dude like 
I mean, I don't mind talking about, you know, po- you know, political stuff and whatnot, but it's just like, again, I don't, I don't know, man. I just, like, I'm not very knowledgeable. I don't ever claim to be knowledgeable, dude. I kind of come off, I don't know. I'm just like, I always just tell everybody, you know, I come off as just a, a dumb fucking podcast fucking nerd or whatever, dude. That's all I am, dude. And <clears throat> no one should take my opinion seriously at fucking all. So I don't know, man. Uh, this week, dude, I'm just, I'm trying to rack my brain. I was like, what the fuck did I even do this last weekend? I, f- I feel like we hung out. I feel like I got to relax and chill. I uh, played some Red Dead Redemption with Jameson. That was pretty fucking fun, dude. Um, he's kind of taken off and played the story by himself and shit, which I'm fine with that. I don't know. I got to play, like, I sat down for, like, one evening and spent, like, you know, two hours on it, getting through some stories and shit. And it's cool, dude. It's a fun game. And, yeah, that's that's about it, man. I downloaded, like, all the old school uh, Grand Theft Auto games onto um, – onto my playstation which by the way i need to look up the cheats so i can fucking get unlimited weapons and money on my uh on my um onto the video game so i can play that shit dude so i don't know i think i'm i think that's definitely what i'm gonna do tonight man we're gonna i'm gonna go home after this i'm gonna cook some dinner i don't know i don't know what we want jessica was like oh get some corn on the cob i'm like dude we should get some corn on the cob man um, lately, like my go-to is like, I'll, I'll you know, I'll go like, cause like, dude, for the longest time, man, I was always, always about chicken, dude. I'd always just get chicken. Like, oh, so what are we going to do? Uh, just chicken and salad, dude. Chicken salad's fucking delicious. Um, uh, but lately I, I've switched it up and I've just, I just been getting steak, dude. But like, I don't know, like my favorite, I know I've talked about this on a podcast before, but it's like jeans, cod, gin, dude, is like one of my favorite places here in town and doing like the hash browns and brown gravy and some mixed vegetables and a steak, dude. Oh, it's so good. But right now at the moment, I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't really feel like potatoes tonight. So corn on the cob and some meat of some kind sounds like a really good fucking meal. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go home, play some GTA Vice City. Um, again, like, I don't know, man. I'm fucking just chilling, dude. Chilling, fucking cruising eBay, dude. Been buying hella cool shit off eBay. What, 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 what? Got, um, I bought the Beatles uh, number one, which is like basically their greatest hits or whatever. I bought that today which I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the Beatles, but I still want to have it because I used to have it before. And I, I do like the Beatles, so I definitely want to listen to it. Actually, you know, this is a uh, guilty pleasure and shit. I don't give a fuck about talking about it, dude. I just got in the mail uh, three Britney Spears CDs. I got our first three albums, which I listened to the first two albums. I haven't listened to the third one. And like the, you know, the majority of the songs are decent, you know, but like, I don't know. Outside of like the singles, like it's like, eh. I don't know. It's cool to have. Like, I've always, I don't know, I've always, like, had the odds for Britney Spears. And, like, I don't know, I've always enjoyed her music and stuff. And it's, like, it's just one of those things over the years that where I'm just, like, you know, I really don't give a fuck what people think. It's, like, oh, my God, you listen to Britney Spears? Like, oh, it's, like, Lisa Allen's a Nicki Minaj. I listened to that. I went out of my way and listened to that Takashi 6 9 guy. What the fuck, dude? It's, like, it's kind of catchy, you know? But, like, at the same time, it's, like, damn, dude. It's, like, this had, like, like dude, millions of hits, dude. And I'm, like fuck man like i need to like you know get some like you know some skittles up in my teeth and shit and like dye my hair dude and like i'll be good i'll be good motherfuckers so i don't know dude it's uh music today dude it's uh it's definitely interesting so um i don't know man again like i'm just trying to chill dude i'm just trying to have a fucking good time and this episode is gonna be a damn good time dude if this is your first time checking this out thank you we got lily hansinger on the podcast returning to the podcast uh me and lily were able to record here via zoom and it was a dude a fucking blast man every time i i I stand to this i even mentioned during the episode it's like the time that i had her and bahia on the episode like i don't know like six months ago or something on the show that was one hands down like one of my favorite fucking episodes of all time and this definitely ranks up there just as much which apparently uh, which bahia if you're listening and are watching definitely will have you on i thought about having the both of you on but i was like you know you know i, I figured you know let's let's have like you know just an in, individual episodes you know it's easier sometimes <laughs> i don't know man next time next time i swear but yeah i swear so uh that that's coming up here momentarily and um yeah dude thanks for all the feedback you guys gave me last week dude i just couldn't believe all the emails we got about brian brisky being on the podcast i was like oh my god people love brian so I just want to thank you guys for uh, reaching out and having kind words regarding that episode. So uh, that being said, dude, I don't know, man. I'm going to go through iTunes today. I'm going to like see if there's any cool movies out. I saw they, were, they, were, they had a sale on Pixar movies. I was really thinking, I was like, oh, shit, dude, they got up on sale for like 10 bucks. I should like totally pick that up. It's like my favorite Pixar movie. And I haven't seen that movie in a long time. We used to have it on DVD, but it got fucked up. Jory, what? Five-year-old Jory fucking that DVD up. 
Um, I definitely try to take care of my DBs now. I've learned from my past mistakes. I've learned from my past sins, motherfucker. Uh, definitely take care of my CDs. Definitely take care of my movies. Take care of my video games, dude. I try to be the best owner that I can be uh, regarding the physical media that I own. Um, oh, dude. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, so what I did also get, so I got those Britney Spears CDs, but I also had a bid on uh, three Nightmare on Elm Street CDs. Uh, I had the sound, well, it was the musical score for part four, Dream Master, and then like the best of musical score between like the first and like the, you know, Wes Craven's new Nightmare and stuff. And those are cool, dude. I love score. Any, anytime you could pick up a score for a film, dude, like, at least, you know, in my opinion, like a John Carpenter film or like, you know, a, a fucking scary movie. I love scores for those, especially 80s or 70s, dude. It's the best. Um, but yeah, I picked those up. And then also I got the soundtrack to Freddy's Dead. So the scores, I'm like, oh, dude, like normally that the greatest hit score, like you look on eBay, dude, it's like people try to sell that shit for like 50 bucks, dude. It's like, come on, dude. No one's going to pay 50 bucks for this. But I ended up getting them. I, I got all three of them for a pretty decent price. And um, so I popped in the Freddy's Dead soundtrack when I was driving home the other night. Like, like there's 10 songs on the CD and like maybe two or three of them I recognized from the actual movie. Outside of that, none of the songs have anything to do with Freddy Krueger. And it's like, what the fuck, dude? This is a piece of shit, dude. It's like, I did not need to own this. Kind of regret, but it was kind of a package deal. I wanted the other two. I didn't even really want that soundtrack, but you know, I had to listen to it anyway. So it's like, damn, dude, you're telling me you're going to put more faith in a Britney Spears album than the Freddy Krueger, Freddy's Dead soundtrack. It's like, you're damn fucking right. You're damn fucking right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll keep this one short this week. Uh, dude, fucking next couple weeks now, we got like the next like fucking month done son we are done in the books and dude i gotta tell you man we're hitting a stride right now with uh upcoming guests on this podcast the ones that we've been um but have been booked and haven't haven't yet been recorded dude i'm i'm pretty fucking stoked dude i'm pretty fucking stoked man we're we're we're, we're aiming high we're shooting high and damn dude i just wish i was high dude damn i think these openings are a lot better when i'm fucking high dude damn and i and i can't really yell too much right now because like people are working over there and I'm just like over here in my office. I'm just like, what's he doing? He's recording a podcast. That's what he's doing. Motherfucker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I give you Lily Hansinger. All aboard. Oh, what's up, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to an all new episode of the podcast. I know it listens to, I am your host, Kevin Porter, and we are back with <laughs> Lily Hollingsworth. The third. Welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> Why, thank you. Very uh, welcome. <laughs> but for the purposes of people Googling me, Lily Hansinger. Hansinger. That's right. That's right. We got to get it right. No, right before we started recording, I was like, it's Hollingsworth, right? You're like, no, no, no. That's how you fucked it up last time. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I'm I'm just really <laughs> high all the time. I forget things a lot. But I like that when you're high, you think I'm really classy. Yeah, right? It's like you got to add the third onto it or, you know, you could be like, this is... This is the Hollingsworth the fourth right here. And you know, let's keep it going down the line, right? Esquire. <clears throat> Esquire. So, man, I got to, right off the bat, Lily, I know our, our audio listeners can't see this shit, but the, anybody benefiting from the te video technology is seeing your, your awesome backyard or front yard? I'm not too sure. Front yard. I've been trying really hard to keep it watered, and that's hard. Yeah. It's getting hot out, dude. It's it's starting to get to the point now where it's like, I think we need to stay inside. Like, you know, I know we had just coming off COVID-19 shit. We're probably going to the second phase at this point, but it still feels like, you know, it's like shit, dude, it's it's too hot to be outside. Oh, I'm saying I can't even I can't even get in direct sunlight. I feel like a vampire. <laughs> and like, there's what, bugs everywhere. Oh no shit. What kind of bugs? They're those little the black ones with the red crosses on their backs. What? Like Jesus fucking bugs or something? Like what? No, like crisscrosses, like X's. Oh, okay. I don't know, dude. I think I know which ones you're talking about. I think I've seen those ones before. I remember as a kid, they were being like, like in this, like we used to like hang out in this like back fucking alley or something. I want to say we like stomped them out all the time or something, dude. We were like five years old. Because they're thick. They like, they get all crazy and they're like carpet. Right? You can just stomp out hundreds of them. It's like, whew. I remember when I was uh, in Olympia once at my dad's house, dude, we like, this just like really shows, I have two, two significant stories of my childhood where both my mom and dad unknowingly uh, um, allowed me to walk down the road with a thing of gasoline just to go burn a bunch of shit. Uh, <laughs> They're like, it's cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, my dad like lived up in Olympia, and it's like the forest area and shit, dude. And like there was like you know like fucking ant hills and shit, dude. So I don't know if we had gasoline, but I know we we took like WD forty and a lighter or some shit at least for that one. Oh so. yeah, but, that's yeah. the way because there's always like fourteen cans of WD forty just chilling. They're always it's always accessible. Yeah. Hundred percent, <laughs> dude. Hundred percent. What kind of cigarettes are you smoking there? These are King Mountains. That's a local treat. Dude, I love I when I used to smoke cigarettes, dude, it was all about King Mountains. I don't think I could afford to smoke otherwise. I don't think I could either, man. They were fucking cheap as shit, dude. Oh, for real. They're three bucks a pack if you buy them on the res. My sister pays eleven dollars a pack for those American spirits. What? Like here in town? Yeah. What the fuck, dude? Eleven dollars for that? Yeah, it's crazy. That's fucking stupid crazy, dude. Like, it's like what? It's going to kill you no matter what. So you might as well, like, get off, you know, have money for other things, I guess, I suppose. I don't know. Like, why would you want to pay that much? And she's punishing herself intentionally. <laughs> is that, like, really what she's, like, intending? She's like, this is fucking punishment. She busts, busts out the fucking whip, like, cracks herself three times. Like, yeah. and I'll spend $11 on a pack of fucking American spirits. <laughs> it's punishment for being a smoker, is right. what she says. There you go. I used to smoke Marbs. Like if I went to a mini mart, dude, at that point I was like, cause like the King, King mountains were still always cheaper, even at like mm-hmm. here on, in the city or whatever. But at that point I was like, well, I'll pay, I'll spend the extra two bucks and I'll get the pack of Marb red, you know, Marb red light, right. not lights, shorts or whatever, like the little short ones or whatever. You got to treat yourself sometimes. <clears throat> you really do. You really do. In today's life, lifetime, you know, it's like, honestly, I've kind of thought like maybe I should pick back up smoking, you know, like why not? <laughs> right. Well, we're <laughs> all going to die like right now smoke. anyway. Might as well smoke some cigarettes and go out, go out, dude. That's what I'm saying. Mm. I don't know. I might have already had it. Think so? Possibly. I, I got really sick in uh, December, January. I was sick for six weeks solid. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. I was like coughing up blood and stuff. Oh, I think I remember you. I remember you, yeah, like coming back um, at open mic and talking about that. Yeah, it was rough. Fuck. Did you have to go to the hospital? Mm hmm. Yeah, they oh. said I had, uh, they didn't test me for anything. They just mm-hmm. x-rayed my lungs, and they said I had uh, pneumonia really bad. Damn, dude. That's, like, pretty much what happened to Brandon, too. Yeah. His voice was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up all, hi, how you doing? He sounded like Harvey Firestein. <laughs> Who's that? I don't even know who that is. Oh, he's this old gay guy that was really famous in, like, the 70s and 80s. Nice. Nice. Yeah, no, dude. I wouldn't. Yeah, I've heard it from a couple of people that have said that, like, they thought that they had some sort of, like, like you, whether it was COVID 19 or if it was some just extreme nasty ass bug, dude. Like, last winter was pretty bad for the flu and shit. It was rough. I missed a whole month of work. And then, of Whoa. course, two months later, we're all out of work again. Right. Uh. <laughs> What's your boss say when, when you fucking roll up? You're like, hey, man, like a whole month's worth of work. Damn, dude, that's, that's gnarly. I just told him well, that particular job, I have 17 of them, but that job, uh, I just told him, hey, I'm sick until I tell you I'm not. And they're like, okay. Okay. Was, yeah. That's the, the convention center, cater waitering job. <laughs> there you go. He's like, hey guys, you know, I'm serving food here. Okay. Like okay. I, need, I need to be up to code. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, dude. I remember working some, pe- some food places, like they'd still want your ass to come in, even if you were fucking sick, dude. Especially like where I work now, dude, they don't give a fuck fuck but where's that uh a certain call center here that i shall not name oh yeah <laughs> i worked there too for a minute i remember yeah, you that's right <laughs> yeah i know i remember that because like i was still smoking cigarettes back then i was like oh shit it's fucking lily fucking working <laughs> at the call center <laughs> fucking, it was like it's a shit show there dude but i mean it's it's steady work so whatever and they pay good there's good benefits it's a good company mm-hmm. i just hate working at a call center i couldn't stand sitting there all day having people scream at me mm. with really thick accents so i just knew they were screaming but i didn't know why <laughs> are you describing my last hour and a half before this podcast dude jeez and some guy just like going off on me he's just like oh i can't tell that right thing i'm like sir you're just not getting like a five percent rebate like calm the fuck down dude yeah it's like Don't it's gonna get, be like, all right shit yes. your fucking pants your your dog food is a day late by all means cancel everything <laughs> <laughs> right no dude i just like i find that it's like I, you know like eating edibles like doing a 10 milligram edible dude i'm just like Whoo. 
Ooh, it takes off. Just it takes really the edge off the customer service. Smooth out your day. <laughs> yeah, dude, because like I actually feel empathy to, for these people sometimes. You know, I'm kind of just like, oh, like okay, you know, I guess I can understand why you're screaming and yelling at me and going off on me. You know, maybe you know I can internalize this a little bit better and just be a better person on my end. I don't right. Know. No, yeah. I felt bad for people when I, I worked there during um, the Hurricane Sandy thing, mm. wherein like a bunch of people had ordered generators and shit so they could keep oh, going man. and they couldn't get the generators to them. So they were just like stranded with no power forever. It's, oh man, that was rough. But that fucking website, man, they better fucking follow through. They said today. Uh huh. <laughs> and they're all, I'm literally calling places. The truck is, uh, waiting outside of a downed bridge looks like <laughs> like let me get that google maps and like bring that up here <laughs> oh, yeah that was rough oh dude because like i don't know man like i've worked customer service my whole entire life dude like i think customer service is like it takes a it takes a, a unique soul to, to to be shit upon for eight hours upon eight hours upon four hours 40 hours upon you know like the, it just never ends. Right? yeah and then you've been there what like eight years or something seven wow well i've worked like i, I said dude i've worked i worked at other call centers here in town dude so i've worked like customer service basically since like 2006 yeah I started working and shit so yeah it's not fun no and also i don't understand how you're not 700 pounds mm, mm, good point i did get pretty fat there when i first got hired on that there dude like this lady like i remember i was training and she's all like She's like, oh, you're going to get fat just like the rest of us. I'm like, no, I'm not, stupid bitch. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and, but then, like, I, uh, I, I proceeded to put on, like, 50 fucking, 50, 60 pounds or some shit. I, like, ended up, ended up, I've kind of got it, I pretty much got it under control now. But, yeah, you know. I still eat oh, with. yeah. Shit, I only worked there that little seasonal moment. I worked there for, like, four months, and I gained, like, 30 pounds mm. in four months. I believe it. It's even worse now, dude, because I don't know, I don't know if they had this institute when you were there. They have like a little fucking uh, like a little mini mart basically in the break room now, dude. They took away all the vending machines, and they have this like little snack market, dude. So you can go in there and get candy and shit, like whenever the fuck you want. They have like ice cream you can get. It's like what? Of course I'm gonna oh, have a Mountain Dew. Oh, no, when I was there, it was just the vending machines, mm. and that was bad enough. Yeah. Like you're gonna plan ahead and bring food when you start work at four in the morning? No, I'm not. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was gonna have for dinner until 20 minutes before I went to the fucking store, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who like, plans a in lunch? In the grocery store, going, yep, that now. Right? Who plans? I mean, like, I guess if you're like, if you're good about it, I don't know. Like, if I'm getting disciplined, you know, I'll just do like. Oh, I usually keep it pretty simple. I'll do like some oatmeal and some yogurt. But outside of that, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go get tacos today. Or I'm gonna go get McDonald's. I'm gonna go, you know, stop at Jack's. Yeah, yeah. you know? I don't even think about it until I'm so hungry I can't think straight. And then I just walk towards whatever is existing, you know? Let's get some around. You know, it's like, I don't know, that could be dangerous, though, Lily. You know, you, you just never know what you're going to end up with, dude. Oh, yeah, legit. Like, it ends up weird sometimes. <laughs> you can end up on, like, Fifth Avenue getting, you know, tacos. Like, I don't know. Dude. <laughs> like, I don't know how I ended up with just a churro and a freaking bottle of soda, but that's what it is for today. Fucking cheers are good, dude. I love cheers. Cheers are good. They're terrible for you. Yeah, they are. That's why they're good. <laughs> they're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So I did. I just got home from the grocery store. Oh, nice. When what was on the top of the list? Pickles. Huh? Okay, pickles. I can. Okay. Oh yes, the Vlasic Zesty Dills. You can only get them at Winco. Nice. I don't shop at Winco that often. You should. It's an ethical company. Is it? Okay. okay. Yeah. It's like, hey. I hey. like to support that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, Jack worked there for a bit. Oh, it was yeah, like year, right. it was like a couple years ago or something. He worked on like the produce section or some shit. Yeah, right when it opened, I remember that. I remember passing him by and him like not changing facial ex facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> well, that tells you all that for as much you know. Tells you all. You know, what? It cut out. I said it tells you all you need to know right there is when his facial expressions don't change. Yeah, just like, this is a nightmare. <laughs> These oranges aren't going to put away themselves. <laughs> I can't spare a smile. That's for later. Uh, 
I don't know, dude. I always, ah, oh, man, I just, yeah, working, working in the, the customer environment, man. I know it's like, it feels like we just keep going back to that, dude, but it's just, it's fucking demoral. It could be, it can be demoralizing. Oh yeah. Uh, I am thinking about going back to Home Depot though, because all my other jobs are tanked by COVID. Fuck. Have you, did you work at Home Depot? Yeah, I worked at Home Depot for four years. I worked in the paint department. No, I didn't even know you worked at Home Depot. No shit. Yeah. That's how I met Carl. Okay. Okay. Yep. We were the paint gurus. Nice. I can do that. Nice. And I might have to because there's no other money coming in. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. It seems like you were saying earlier, man, like like they're saying phase two's coming in. So it's like, I don't know, they like gonna lock us back down. I mean, it's 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 a pretty iffy next couple of months, that's for sure. It's been an iffy year, obviously, but like definitely the next oh, couple yeah. of months. The whole time it's just been trash. This year's trash. This year has not been fun at all. No. So think... good. Oh, that's that's how far we've fallen. I'm thinking of going back to customer service. Mm. It's always there, dude. That's like the one guarantee is that job will always be there because there's always gonna be assholes that need help. Yep. It's legit. <laughs> I started like what I do is like, especially since I'm working from home, you know, working out of my office here now, like um, I, I would do this actually at the, at the call center, but like to entertain myself, I would patronize the, 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 the notes and the, whatever the, the thing is, you know, where we keep all the notes. And all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I, I'll read it like, you know, uh, so, so wants me to come over. They weren't showing up. And I don't know. I was cracking people up around me, dude. Cause like, I think people just find solace in, you know, these, these assholes that just call us every single day, dude. Just like, get out of here with your shit. A million years ago, uh, when I was like 18, 19, I used to work at the a call center for Microsoft. Mm -hmm. And it oh, wasn't like yep. extreme tech support because I'm not a computer person. It was like product activation. It was like, you mm -hmm. read me this number. I read you this number. Blah, we're done, you know? Easy peasy. But people would call up and not know what they were doing and whatnot. And it is a drudgery. So I would do just different accents. I'd be like, thank you for calling Microsoft. This is Lily. I can hire you. <laughs> I've done that shit too, dude. I, I once I acted like a girl. I was like, thank you for calling fucking Maytag. No, I'm going to help you. It's like a real fucking <laughs> poor ass wig accent. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the very end did you ever did you ever like at the very end of the call when you're like you know saying saying your goodbyes you just drop the accent and just go straight to your normal voice just no i never did <laughs> that really fucks with them dude <laughs> I just did the whole time like 10 minute call of the accent and then you're like thanks for calling bro <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm talking about dude just really fuck with them at the end <laughs> i should have but i, I didn't have the nerve <laughs> I don't have the balls to do it now, dude. But like, damn, dude, when I was in my twenties, that's when I really fucked around with that shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh man. I don't know how many times I had some dude call up. And then once he heard my voice, I heard slapping sounds in the background. Oh, Are you fucking serious? For real. It happened like weekly. Jeez. <laughs> I've had, I've had, um, I've, I've definitely had the people that call in or like, Oh, thank God you're an American. <laughs> I've had that. Oh, yeah. And then I, I've even had like people that like girls that work around me tell me stories about how like um like the the, the guys would the like, guys would call in and basically ask to speak with a man because they didn't want to speak with a woman. I was like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's assholes out support. there like that. Yeah, for real in tech support, anything where you're supposed to be knowledgeable at all, there's a mm -hmm. bunch of dudes that are like, women don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> women know everything, you asshole. Come on. Well, especially if it's their job. Come on, guy. Yeah. I mean, a woman, dude, you, they have the same access to the same information. Like, we all have the same information. It's not like, oh, he's a man. Oh, he's got more information. You know, it's like, what is it, 1954 or something? Right. It's like there's a passcode. You have to slam your dick onto it. It's like, boom. It's like, step aside. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Just smash it. You <laughs> need to get those codes in. Yep. Sir, Dick's I'm here to help you. Stupid. <laughs> oh my god um god, yeah we were saying earlier though, foreign foreign customers are the worst dude like they they can be downright mean dude like i've had indian people just basically just treat treat me like shit dude just because like you're the customer service agent they treat you like a fucking like a, a rug or something you know just walk right all over you and shit dude I need oh, just, yeah. oh, supervisor. I was like, what <laughs> just, i just answered the phone i just answered the phone you cannot. Just now. You're the sixth person I've talked to. 
If only if you've called six times, fool, because before me, it was just the automated system. <laughs> that was the computer. <laughs> the computer was rude. I want to make a complaint. Right? <laughs> Your music was offensive. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> that place's music is offensive, dude. There's, like, I don't, I don't really, like, where I work in, I don't really have to, like, deal with that, that hold music anymore. Yeah. Like, call people and, like, send emails. But, like, dude, yeah, when you would have to call in a certain department, dude, and sit there for fucking five minutes and listen to that shit over and over, I can understand why these people call and straight up abuse you from the get-go, dude. Just, like, I'm going to take all my rage out on you. Right. Mm. But I don't get why they don't just, like, put it on speaker and do stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, how hard is it? Entertain yourself, motherfucker. Well, it's nice, like, on, like, I remember when I was unemployed and I had to, like, file for unemployment, you'd have to call the unemployment office, like, it'd be, like, you know, a two-hour hold time, but then you could, like, save your spot, and they would call you, like, right before you, like, got a customer service agent. Right? That yeah. Was... How hard is it? No. It's not hard. It's not. I think it must be an old people thing. Ah, uh, old people are the fucking worst, dude. I'm sorry. Those people are just so fucking, like, ah, uh, they just, they don't get it. They don't get it. And they have too much time on their hands. Right. So you'd think they'd be more patient. Mm. No. All the time. No. Mm -mm. Nope. But I get it. Like, I, I'm not keeping up either. Like, I'm going to be 39 years old on Friday, which is daunting. Well, happy but... birthday, Lily, because that's when this episode drops. Oh, sweet. So it's my birthday today, then. Uh, but it's weird. I'm not keeping up, like, technologically at all. Mm. All the difficulties I had even getting on this call. <laughs> like, <laughs> I get, like, the old people that, well, when I was born, no one in my town had a car. And now we've got computers in our pockets. Like, I get it. It's like, what do you mean you have more than one TV? Yeah. Like, <laughs> legit when i was born we didn't have a tv at all we didn't my family didn't have one until i was like five Ooh. but i mean if you don't have it i mean you're not gonna know the difference i guess yeah it was whatever <laughs> what is this magic magic in a box <laughs> so i mean think how much how much uh technological advance has happened in just the 39 years i've been around mm, that's a good point we went from the Nintendo to the oh, PlayStation 5 that drops later this year. The 5? Holy yeah, cow. Yeah, they just, they just announced uh, and dropped like a bunch of like trailers for video games and stuff. I, I don't know. I'm, probably, I'm not going to buy it right away, but like, I don't know. Maybe in a couple I, years. Is it time to buy stock in Sony though? I think it might mm. be. I don't know, man. I've, I've seen some shit people talking online. They're all like, oh, the Xbox is going to be way better. They're like whatever new version that, that they have coming out. I don't know, dude. Like, it doesn't look. I mean, like, PlayStation Four graphics are fucking amazing as is, dude. It looks like real fucking, you know, real life. Like, yeah. You know, why? What the next console is going to entail? It has to be miraculous to be worth doing because, mm. uh, is it just like the iPhone <laughs> where it's fine, but they're just going to keep putting out new ones so you'll buy more? Um, you know, they they typically only drop a new system like every like like eight to ten years or so. It seems like. Yeah. I yeah. guess so, but has it been that long since the four? Ah, uh, you know, it's a good question. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just look that shit up. Dude. What's up? Right. I feel like I it's only it. been like five years. Uh, it, I, I want to say it's like 2012. I thought that's when it came out. Maybe. I don't know. I'm I'm pulling it up right now, dude. You think this information would be like right here? But it's not, dude. I just scroll like all the fucking through the ads, like, oh, buy a PS4 at Best Buy, buy a fucking <laughs> PS4 at GameStop, like just to get to the Wikipedia here. So it says uh, PlayStation 4 dropped on November 15th, 2013. So, really? Yeah. Huh. It was only like around like 400 or 500 bucks when they dropped it, dude. That's actually not that bad. Is it not? That sounds crazy to me. <laughs> the PlayStation 3 dropped at like $600, dude. I think a lot of people kind of revolted back on it, dude, and were like, fuck you. So they had to have a pretty steep drop in the, the pricing for the next uh, generation when it dropped in 2013, I guess. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I remember the only console that I've ever personally owned was the original Nintendo, and it was $140. Mm. That's, yeah. I wonder how much in a, by inflation, I mean, that would be probably about like $300, $400 at this point, I would imagine. Oh, yeah. at least. It probably more like eight hundred at this juncture. <laughs> oh shit, dude! Yeah, dude, <laughs> shit wasn't cheap back in the day. 
No, nah, dude, that that original Nintendo, man. I mean, it still holds up fucking 40 years later or whatever, dude. It still holds up. Oh yeah. What was your what was your go-to game on that? Um I I'm so old. I, I just played Tetris like obsessively. Oh dude. That's like my mom, dude. My mom plays Tetris. <laughs> Tetris was my favorite. We played Mario, of course, because mm-hmm. it's the one that came with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Duck Hunt, where you just walk Ooh. right up to the screen and put your gun on the screen. Like, uh, <laughs> Take that, him. fucking dog, dude. I'm, I'm like, I, so like, I'm all into like getting like the uh, like I have a bunch of ROMs and stuff. They don't have like a controller that you can get for your computer, dude, to play that game because you can download that game, but you can't play it unless like you have the original Nintendo and the actual gun. Really? As far as you I know, okay. Truth be told, I have never researched it, but I just assume there is no gun. <laughs> They're still out there. I still see them at like yard sales and Goodwill right. and stuff. Well, like the original ones, but I mean like a USB yeah. one or something. Oh yeah. Uh, gun for duck hunt. Let's just let's 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 roll the dice on this one. Oh no, they're they're fucking out there. I'm just I'm dumb as shit, dude. I don't fucking do research. <laughs> How much are they running for? <clears throat> Not that expensive for a USB one. Um, it's a good question, actually. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, maybe they aren't around. Uh, can you play it without a gun? Converting? Oh, well, you can convert it, I guess. You can you can actually just get an original one and convert it. Oh, well, okay. that's actually what people are doing. Um, well, actually, I should be smart and click the shopping tag. Okay, so yeah, it's about twenty eight bucks or whatever, dude. That's not the worst. No, I can't believe bad. how much just a straight up video game is going for now. Like sixty bucks. <laughs> That's insane. Like, nah. I remember, oh, you know what I loved? Paperboy. Did you ever play that one? Oh, shit. Paperboy was the, that was amazing, dude. It was such a fun game. Hell yeah. I loved Paperboy. It was like 20 bucks, maybe. Mm-hmm. Not quite. 15. I, I haven't played that game in a long time, dude. But, like, I remember I could only really get past the first or second level, dude. I was never, like, that good at that game. I didn't get super far, but it was so fun. Dude, honestly, like, Bringing it up, I think I got to go home tonight and go play that. Oh, yeah. You have access to it? I do. I have, like, a, I have a modded Xbox. I have an original Xbox from, like, back in 2000. And it's modded with all the Super Nintendo, Sega, and uh, original <laughs> Nintendo video games. Nice. Uh, yeah. And then on my computer also, I have, like, a bunch of ROMs and shit so I can play on my computer as well. <laughs> well, I saw your... Uh your your man cave there that has the big old tv and all the stuff set yeah. up yeah it's, that's rad it's pretty extensive it's it's years in the making lily i gotta say man like i i have been i have been plotting this room for years and finally like i was able to get gain space where i can actually set that shit up dude and i gotta tell you man time of my life dude time of my life so much oh for real i mean i don't think i know anybody else who has that kind of setup most of my friends all have like a shit ton of video games so i know a bunch of people that have oh, like, you can't see it from oh, here. <laughs> carl Making was like his i want to i want to be on the podcast <laughs> that's like worth 300 bucks you hear that no what do you say he said he has earthbound it's worth like 300 bucks or something oh no shit oh no i know earthbound i think that wasn't that like a uh, super nintendo game that's what he has yeah 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 okay no totally that's a rare game uh, it's rare because it came out um, the same month that Final Fantasy III and Chrono Trigger did, and most households were a one or two game household, so they chose to get Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy III other than Earthbound, because Earthbound was like for little, little kids. You attack things with yo-yos and wiffle ball bats. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. That's, it's a fun, it seems like a fun game. I've actually never played it, but I've heard about its rarity and you know yeah it's just one of those things that's like it's gonna cost you some money to get a physical copy of that for sure it was a great game that was plagued by bad timing yeah sounds like it i gotta check it out dude i'm pro- i'm pretty sure i have it modded on my on my uh my xbox dude. i gotta play that game reminds me of that what was it oh et oh atari yeah, for atari yeah. yeah and then like nobody bought it so there's like a level of the landfill that's all just like et games they threw out yeah i was see i didn't grow up on the atari man like i know everybody like b- b- basically <laughs> the generation before i don't know like we're pretty much the same generation i'm not that much older or younger than you like 30, no, you're I'll, what, be 35. 35? I'll be 35 in december 
Um, yeah, yeah I didn't grow. I didn't grow too much up on the Atari though. It was, it was mainly the, the the Nintendo, the original Nintendo. Well, we didn't even have a TV when Atari was happening, so I didn't grow up on that either. But <laughs> right, it. I had uh, like cousins that had them. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my god, Pong or whatever. Pong. I was watching a uh, semi pro last night, dude, and they have this joke, and they're like, "Oh yeah, get them!" Like they're all playing in front of the video game system and shit. Like they're playing some like NBA Jam or some shit, but no, dude, it's like just pong because it's like in the seventies. <laughs> Everybody's cheering. Oh, oh <laughs> shit, you got him! Nah, man, one of my favorite games of all time is Pac Man. Oh yeah, I was terrible at Pac Man. Really? I was playing on the original arcade and just slamming that little thing into the sides oh, and just just bad. Oh man, I have, a, I have a pretty fun story. I went I went down to Oregon, down to the coast down there one time. We were staying at like some like condo resort, and like I um <clears throat> down in the basement area, they had like a you know like air hockey, some ping pong, and they had like one like, one of those old school sit down Miss Pac Man's. And I remember just like oh, yeah. I just rock that game, dude. I just fucking rock it all the time. I go to McGuire's and play it all the time there, and um so like I just had like I I was playing it, I was playing it, you know, and like. I don't know, I get to like third, fourth level or something. I start getting this group of like little kids like surrounded me, dude. They're all just watching me play Pac-Man, dude. It's like, yeah, that's right. Learn from your elders, you little shits. You know? <laughs> You're like the pinball <laughs> wizard. <laughs> oh, I love pinball too, man. Pinball's cool. Hell yeah. You ever been to the, um, oh, drinking games? Yeah, well, we've done that. We did, we did a couple open mics there. So yeah, I went down there only for the open mics. But yeah, that's yeah. a sweet little spot, dude. Yeah, if anybody wants to go once we're allowed to live again, it's mm-hmm. on uh, Fifth and Yakima drinking games. They've got a couple of pinball machines that I enjoy. Mm. They yeah. got that uh, Adams Family. Mm, yeah. Or is it the Munsters? I forget which ones are there, but like I did notice, like it's like nowadays when you go play, because there's like really the only place I see pinball. You see pinball at, like you said, uh, drinking games. And then you go to like the movie theaters. Like you can definitely find a couple of uh, good pinball machines at the movie theaters as well. And but dude, it's like seventy five cents to a dollar now just to play like one fucking game. Yeah, and I'm not there for that anyways. I'm there to watch a movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, <laughs> dude. Like I've always got time for pinball, Lily. Like there's always time for pinball. It's like there's always room for cake. Exactly. <laughs> Get a little. And, and dude, I don't know, man. I I just I really I don't know. Like drinking games. Like I really like the concept of that place, dude, because it's like. You know, it seems like that could be, like, something really special here in Kakamon. Like, just a, a sweet spot to go play video games and, like, you know, old school video games at that. But just, like, every time I go yeah. there, man, it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's it's always fun, dude. And the open mic there was, like, we had, like, two or three open mics before COVID hit. And damn, dude, I we wish I would have so- made those. Yeah, dude. We Well, like, uh, Ron Ron was pretty much running it. It was, like, it was basically him and Jay McNay were kind of, like, taking the helms of, like, the, the open mic and stuff and like huck started it and then they basically kind of were like taking it over or whatnot which is like what huck's, huck's uh, intentions were in the first place but yeah so like we only had like three like maybe three or four open mics or something it was, it was very minimal amount dude and then like i guess they're gonna come back open i don't know i saw some post saying that like you know the the owners the guy that owns ron's coin and books and he's like being really nice to him about the rent so they're not having to pay for rent right now or like i don't, I don't know Absolutely. what the exact setup is but hopefully well i think that was gaming grind was that Game and Grow that said that? Yeah. Okay. That he's giving them a break. I don't know. I thought that was. Uh, I thought that was the Jamie one. owns drinking. Yeah. I don't know if she's. Getting break. Okay. Well, I saw. I remember I saw Game and Grog asking for donations. They had some sort of like GoFundMe up for donations for like I don't know if it was rent or pay or whatever, but. Well, know. yeah, because well, not only that, <laughs> but they got a new baby. Oh, did they just have a new baby? Yeah. Oh no shit. So. Like that's a thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> mm, kind of needs money. That's like the worst timing. That's fucking. That's horrible, man. Uh huh. Well, it doesn't seem like Yakima's coming out of anything, dude. I mean, they're now just forcing us to like wear fucking masks in public spaces. Like they're gonna refuse service if you don't wear a mask. I'm totally down with that. Yeah. I am. Like I, I have, I have a mask on me, not on me necessarily, but mm-hmm. I have one on me all the time, just in case I stop I will- somewhere. I went to Thriftway yesterday and I was wearing mine and then like I was just like because I was working out I well not working out but I was like working out on my farm pulling weeds and shit and so like I was just so fucking hot for me outside and then I had to like travel all the way down dude and just like wearing that mask and all that heat in my face I was like ah oh yeah she had my beard or something shocked. dude that beard's got to be a misery with a mask in the heat 
Well, I, I really am trying to stay. I've been like, ever since this whole thing went down, dude, I really try to stay out of the public. Like I'll go to, I usually go to the store like once a week and that's it. So I don't right. have to for that minimal time outside of that, dude, it's like, it's literally just been work and going home. That's like all I've been doing. And aren't you just absolutely in this weird space, just like floating in nothingness? <laughs> God, you're describing my fucking headspace 24 seven, dude. Once I get high, the first time of the day, I'm like, oh, you're all right. regardless. <laughs> regardless. Oh, dude, I kind of had a panic attack a couple weeks ago. I went to friend Myers, dude, and like, I had a, I had the mask on, and like, I got fucking like. I don't know, like, I have, like, I've always kind of had issues, like, being around, like, large groups of people, like, I, I smoke weed and, like, take edibles to kind of help that, but right. sometimes it doesn't work, <laughs> so, like, like, I went in there, dude, and, like, I was just so high, and I was like, fuck, 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 there's so, there's, like, literally, like, I'm, like, and I just found it really hard to, like, because you can't, I don't know, it's just, like, I can't, like, say, oh, excuse me, or I mean, you can, but it's all fucking muffled and shit, it was just, like, it was right, just one of those times yell. where I was just, like, I felt like I just want to crawl in the corner and just like start crying, dude. I was like, I can't really even know if I can do this. Like, <laughs> barely made it through the shopping experience. How am I supposed to live like this? Mm. For sure. <laughs> like, I was shocked that um, I would say at least half the people at Winco were mm -hmm. wearing masks, which is the a first. Right. It's usually like one in five or some shit. Right, right. I think maybe people are finally <clears throat> understanding, oh, if I don't participate, the shit's bad yeah no it's a it's yeah dude i just want to get out of this man i'm just like i'm I'm really ready just for i want to go i want to go do some stand-up comedy yeah i have like i want to go have a beer at a restaurant you know like i i, I know there's other places like we can travel and stuff stuff at this point but i mean like if we truly are going into like a phase two i mean like what's like the chances that Inslee's gonna just shut it down again you know right well yeah come on we're so <clears> dumb <throat> god we're dumb I'm not surprised that like we have such a high rate considering like just how dirty this town is to begin with. Like we've always right. had a nasty ass reputation, dude. Oh yeah. It's just getting worse. But you know, then you could have some kind of street cred, right? Like you go somewhere else to do some stand up and be like, I'm from Yakima, man. Oh, just dude. feel the crowd shudder. <laughs> oh, I know, dude. I would always, uh, I'd go to, I'll go to uh, out of town like Seattle or Portland for shows go see bands and stuff before all this and like i'd always go with my uh, my friend ray and like i love ray but like anytime you get that guy beer he becomes just a fucking social butterfly dude he just he just gets drunk and just starts talking to everybody and he's always like oh this is my buddy kevin yeah we're from yakima i'm like dude shut the fuck up like don't tell him we're from yakima <laughs> don't play that card man and dude i would say one out of four people dude gives you some sort of like oh shit he's from yakima type reaction like get these dirty ass fucking crackheads out of here right <laughs> although i did one uh i i did a gig up at dave's in milton mm -hmm. and one of my jokes i think you've probably heard it the one where uh i used to get called a fag a lot at stoplights oh yeah no i remember that one yeah yeah, yeah. It, it like for real that really happened uh, a lot uh Jeez. 10 years ago or more uh but so i told <clears throat> that joke but i prefaced it by saying so i'm from yakima and uh so what I look like goes over well. <laughs> People get it right there, yeah. Oh yeah, you the whole crowd is like, yup. <laughs> where is I fuck, where is Milton? I don't even I don't even remember where that is. Um it's north of Seattle, mm. I think. I wasn't driving. <laughs> mm. yeah, it's like ah, the, <laughs> the booze was going down nice, and it's like I ah, we were on I five for a little bit. Fuck it, dude. We got a ninety. <laughs> Seattle we was involved east. somehow. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck, man. I've I've I, I honestly I think I've only had like one out of town show. And that's when I did that Tri Cities uh, joke off when I like somehow stumbled into the next round. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah yeah that's the only time i've ever like played outside of yakima outside of that like i've never I, I don't know man like i need to do that anytime i go out of town like moving forward if, once we get out of, i can't ah uh, just like i want to talk future i want to be like let's do shows yeah. do this shit but like anytime i go on vacation i need to start looking up open mics around town we gotta get that benga bus coming man the what like the benga bus what the fuck is uh, the benga bus 
You don't remember that song? That bang got bus is coming. Anyway, okay. uh, we, we need to get the comedian bus, you know, where we okay. all just get together and fucking go mob an open mic. We should, dude. We're going to have to all do temperature checks as we get on. It's like, Brian Brisky, I know you got a fever. Uh-huh. Because you've been <laughs> hoeing. We know you hoe. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I was, I was talking to Brisky about it a couple weeks ago. We were talking about how, like, everybody should just, like, you know, bring their own fucking mic. You know, just ensure oh, yeah. that, you know. Uh, I mean, that, it's a, I mean, they're going to have to do that. They're going to have to sanitize it one way or the other. Yeah, I think they, they should just do that. Like, if you want to get up, you got to have your own mic, and I think that's fine. Mm-hmm. I got two. I got two. We're good. I'll alternate. Right? I can give one out. You know, hey, man, you don't got a mic, I'll hook you up. Oh, man, thank you, Kevin Porter. Now I can do the open mic. So I got first on that, right? Because I don't have one? That's right. I'll just give you it. You can have it. <laughs> Hell it's yeah. It's yours. <laughs> No, I'm down to do that. I, I don't think it's a bad idea. Mm. <clears throat> I think that is a good idea. I think that'd be a lot of fun to fucking just like roll out together and shit for the for those types of shows. Because like, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, when we were up and running, like, I mean, we did have, technically have three open mics at that time before COVID nineteen hit, dude. And it's like, there's yeah. no guarantee all three of those are going to be back coming, you know, coming back out of the out of the out of the fucking shadows and shit um well i don't know it depends on who stays open even that's what i'm I saying think. yeah <laughs> like uh but there's something really refreshing about getting out of town though because mm. we've all heard each other's shit it's old true that you know true like that. even if even if we come up with some new stuff we just know each other <clears throat> too well so right. it's nice to get up in front of literal strangers who've never heard anything you've ever done don't know anything about you so that everything you say is a surprise right we got to plan it out, man. We got to plan it out, dude. So we got to buy yeah. like an old school bus. We got to get an old school bus. We'll get some spray paint, spray it all down. I could do graffiti. so much with that. <laughs> I don't know if you could see in the background, dude, I got a whiteboard and shit. I tried like being all like, I was like, Oh, I'm going to write it out. be like the podcast. No one listens to. And like, I, I gave up after like two minutes. I'm like, I am not an artist. <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> I suck at art, dude. I suck so bad at it. You know, I'm not great with spray paint, but just about anything else I can work with. Mm, mm. But so, I have been spray mm. painting my own patio furniture. Uh, it's really shitty. Oh, actually, <laughs> it's cool now. Go back to it. Like, it's got like some purple, like some red, it looks like. No, it's like mainly purple and blue, I guess, right? Yeah, purple, blue, teal. Uh, Teal's I a good like color. Red. That's an underrated color, I should say. It's one of my favorites. I think it's a good color. <laughs> There's like, this is like crappy lawn furniture. I'm going to do whatever. I call it my unicorn chair. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why you would call it that, man. It looks like, it kind of looks like one of those like drinks you would get at Starbucks or something. I was like, yeah. Know, like, I like you, I think it's called like a unicorn like frappe or some shit. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. It just uh, doesn't have the pink. I'm not going to do the pink part. No, nah, I don't do the pink part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker, dude. I'm a sucker for bright colors. You like a pink. Like neon colors, like dude, per like bright purples, dude. I like that shit, dude. I think that fucking shit looks awesome. Oh, I agree. I'll paint a wall with some crazy stuff like that. Mm. Mm. But uh, you know, that's because I'm not a hundred percent white. <laughs> <laughs> dude, my computer, my computer casing is like bright purple, dude. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot you and Bahia. Like I was, I almost like, I almost like. I was like, man, do we need to do like a giant podcast where I get like everybody on and we just do like one giant podcast? Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I was hanging out with Bahia today mm -hmm. and she says, fuck you, Kevin Porter. <laughs> Why'd she say fuck uh, you, Kevin Porter? And also because you're having me, but not her. <laughs> well, dude, I thought like, honestly, the thought crossed my mind. I was like, oh, I should invite Bahia to be on too. But then I was like, oh, you know, I want to you know, be special. It'd be like, it's supposed to be, you know, it's Lily's like first time, you know, solo on the podcast. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. yeah, well, she says she got next. Okay, all right, I'll hit her up next. No, <laughs> I know, dude. Like, it's this Zoom thing is pretty fucking sweet, dude. Like, it's cool, like having people out and shit. But like, I don't know, like, it is cool shit. Get the video portion, and people can see like what you're doing and like where you're at. You know, it's right it's unique. Uh oh. Also, I was hanging out with her. Uh, she did my tarot cards. Okay. And uh, well we both did ours and mm -hmm. it was all very depressing it was a lot of like things are murky 
you have a lot of stasis. There's a lot of sitting around happening. Oh, man. <laughs> We're like, yeah, man, that's what's up. <laughs> preach, demon gods, preach. Yes. And, and for How her, I'm sitting on my couch. <laughs> it knew. Oh, it knew. The conclusion for her was that mm -hmm. she's going to continue sitting around. And the conclusion for me was that I need to get up to something weird. What was it? I need to get up to something weird. Get up to something weird? What's that entail? I don't know yet exactly. I, so far, it means going back to Home Depot, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Some weird-ass oh, fucking problem. people rolling through. Aw, oh, shit, what's <laughs> up to the puppy? <laughs> She's very cute and misbehaving. Oh, no. All the time. She's All the time? Ah. Yeah, dude. My dog's been, uh, he's been having some listening issues lately. He's, he's not wanting to do, he's not wanting to cooperate whatsoever. He was very cute though. Mm. Oh yeah, dude. You guys did meet him, didn't you? Uh-huh. Fucking he came Henry. out after we were done. That's right. I remember. I remember now. That was so long ago. That was, to, to me, to this day, like that was hands down, like my favorite, one of my favorite episodes that I've ever done. All right. That one was really fun. Yeah. There's was a like, dynamic with the three of us. Mm, mm. No, and this episode just is good too, man. We've had a good time. It's a good yeah, episode. Man. Best episode ever. Making me want to smoke cigarettes again, Lily. That's that's the conclusion I got from this episode. <laughs> we'll buy a pack of cigarettes. Cause like Will Smith, I make this shit look good. Yeah. Not because I look good doing it. It just looks really tasty, doesn't it? Yeah, dude. It's just like that whole act, like I miss it, dude. Like I really miss coffee and cigarettes, like chili uh. treats. Like, Drinking, like, I, yeah, I mean, I get it, you know, but like, there's something to be said about waking up in the morning and lighting a cigarette and then making coffee and drinking that said cup, lighting another cigarette and smoking like three or four cigarettes before like 10 o'clock in the morning, dude. Like, there's oh, something yeah. to be said about that. Your lungs don't appreciate it, but you know, mentally it puts you in a good space. I don't know if my lungs don't appreciate it. I feel like they say, oh, <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Damn, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude. I, I've been uh, I've quit smoking now for almost four years. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can feel it in my lungs, dude. I don't, I don't get that <clears throat> feeling anymore. You probably saved thousands of dollars too. I did, dude. I had one of those apps on my phone. I deleted it off like, but once I got my new phone this last time, I was like, well, I'm not gonna go back, so I don't need to. I don't need to keep a running track, dude. But it was like, in the first two years, dude, it was like, yeah, a couple thousand bucks just right there. Yeah, it's yeah. nuts. But like I like said, so. Though, I'm a drinker and a smoker, so it's a good thing that my wife's not. Oh, dude, right? That's <laughs> the way it was with my me. wife too. Um, she didn't smoke or drink either, so it was like it was all my habit. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing, dude, because then you don't have to share. Exactly. Like occasionally, she'll buy some kind of booze, mm -hmm. but she makes sure to buy the kind I really don't like, so that I won't oh, drink it. What kind is that? <laughs> Well, I don't really like anything except vodka for the most part, but in a pinch, I will drink most things. <laughs> it's like, whatever, give me that gin. <laughs> gin, I will not do. Ugh, dude. Gin tastes like pine trees. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember one time just taking a swig off that. Like, we're at my friend Ronnie and Christina's house. They lived in this, like, studio apartment, dude. And, like, what do you, like, what do 18, 19 year olds do in a studio apartment? Pack, like, 30 people in there, right? Oh, for sure. And just, yeah. like, I was sitting around with my friend, dude, and it was like, like they're like, oh yeah, we got a bottle of gin. I'm like, I've never had gin before, so I drink it. I'm like, fucking pine needles, like, ah. Yeah, just nasty. I don't understand yeah. how anyone could do it. I like a good martini, I guess. I don't know. Brandon Allen would always make me martinis when I'd go to his house, and like, he'd always make them pretty fucking strong. <laughs> he would do martinis. He's so that guy. Yeah, he is that guy. <laughs> this is Mr. Throwback from the '60s guy. Mad, yeah, dude. I was gonna say like Mad Men, but yeah, I don't think I see Brandon wearing a suit anytime soon. <laughs> Working he's not office. as clean cut as all that. He's like the he's like the lounge entertainer from Mad Men. Mm, there you go. That's a good comparison. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent, dude. I have like the first two seasons of Mad Men. I bought them at like Goodwill, and I've never watched it. It's hard to watch. Is it? I have a super hard time watching it because it's so sexist. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and they're like they're portraying it accurately. I'm just mm. like, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> like, what is this? 1964? And yeah, as I it know. turns out. Yeah. <laughs> it was a pretty appropriate uh yeah, it's a pretty appropriate response to how men acted in the workplace. Yeah. 
it just makes me go oh god i'm so glad i was born in the 80s <laughs> right no there's sometimes like where like i wish i was born like i wish i was born in like the late 50s or something where i could have been a teenager in the 70s just for the, right. like the music you know like i don't know i love like rock and roll from the 70s and shit like it seemed yeah. like the 70s like I remember as a kid thinking like, oh, you know, fuck the 70s. It was all about the 80s. But like really thinking about it, it's like, I think the 70s were pretty fucking cool. They were. The only bad thing about the 70s was the the style. The style was atrocious. Mm. All that olive green and burnt orange and oh, how I kind of like that. No, it's awful. <laughs> and there It reminds me of my grandma or something. <laughs> right? Yeah. The style of architecture is personally offensive to me. Mm, mm. Like, how dare you screw up the landscape this way? Ugh. But the music was on point. Right. The music was good. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, I've, I've really started to, like, find a real appreciation for movies that were made back in, like, the 60s and the 70s. Because I've never, for one, I've never seen any of them. So, like, last night I was watching fucking Dirty Harry, dude never oh, watched no. that a day in my life dude but i'm just like i'm like halfway through and it's like oh shit it's 11 30 i gotta go to bed like it's you know but like damn dude it was just like some of the shit they would set say get away with it was just like it was a different time for sure dude. oh yeah do you ever uh you ever watch those like black exploitation films no i don't think so which ones are there's those? just like terrible uh there's one by with Pam Greer called Black Mama, White Mama. Oh, those ones. Oh, like Shaft and shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah, I never really got too much into seeing a bunch of those, but yeah, Pam Greer's the shit. I love her. Yeah, she's beautiful. But it was so weird. They they made every excuse to get her shirt off. <laughs> like, it was like every other scene. Oh, boobs again. Not that I'm offended by that yeah. at all. But I was just like, wow, this is really gratuitous. Yeah. Well, it's like, you know, like the slasher films from the 80s. I mean, like, what else What else are you going to watch a slasher uh, Jason Voorhees film for? You know, titties and fucking massacre, you know? Yeah. And I just think, so they think whatever the worst possible thing you could do, they're like, here. Here, have it in abundance. Just take it. <laughs> Run with it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Have you ever seen the, the de- any of the Death Wish, uh, Death Wish films? No, never did. Yeah, those are pretty, I don't know. We watched, the, we did the first like three or four. I think we did the first three or something for the, for a podcast. And like Charles Bronson's pretty fucking sweet, dude. But it's just like, it's rapey as shit, dude. Like every, you know, the whole, the whole, the whole series is based on rape, dude, basically. Which yeah. is like all that 60s, 70s movies. It was like, they lifted a lot of the, um, what, what was that? FFA or something. Oh, dude, was it the MPAA I, or whatever? Motion whatever, they lifted a lot of, a lot of their uh, bands and whatnot and so they just mm. went insane <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense i mean hey man you're 21 what are you gonna do i'm gonna go drink a bunch of booze you know like right? it's okay fuck it i'm 21 like fuck it <laughs> it's exactly that they're like no restrictions boobs and death and rape <laughs> <laughs> it's like brandon it's like brandon allen's fucking you know like epitaph you know <laughs> Right. <laughs> Who's raping cocaine? And see. And see. Well, Lily, I know this was a short, short timing on here, but uh, yeah, I think we uh, we hit our mark today. Definitely. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Thanks for having me, man. All right, man. Well, <laughs> and you know, I hope everybody... to see you in person soon. I know. On it, on on the bus, going to all the different open mics in in yeah in the Washington State, dude. That's what we gotta do. Hell yeah! Thank God, bus is coming. That's right. Well, I know I know Ness, no one's really got anything to plug, but I mean we can plug your birthday. It's your birthday today, technically. Thank you. The oldening. The oldening, yes. <laughs> all right. Well, well, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. We'll catch you next time. All right, see you later, man. All right, see you. The awkward pause. All right, see you later. <laughs> this podcast has been brought to you by Pizza Productions. <laughs> <laughs>